Hello and welcome back to Ash of Gods. We are back with Hop Ruli and let's see what he's up to. You sped forward like never before, leaving ravines and mountain passes behind, taking narrow pathways which had been swept away by masses of thawing snow by now. Yet, still you did not make it to Albius by the spring equinox. The towers of the city are already visible, and you can hear the ringing of the bell and the roaring of the torrential manas. What did this backwater Odalan town do to incur the wrath of the gods? Why Albius? There are dozens of other towns that look exactly like it. Is there some secret motive? You have a nauseating premonition. The stench of death fills your nostrils. Everything is just as Emma predicted, except for this one. Impossible fact. Even Emma could not foresee that here in Albius and far away in the a Frisian city of Wooden, a mortal would resist the Reaper. So far, you are the only one who knows it. Are we talking about Gleda? As far as I know, she didn't have an amulet. Or any kind of strikes. You reach the town walls. The bell peals uh, incessantly. Black smoke swirls overhead and the stench of uh, burning flesh fills your nostrils. Could it be a plague? Why are the guards at the gate wearing uh, Jarana Gerar uniforms? Is it still the Odalan Kingdom? This is still the Odalan Kingdom. Vagabond, curse him. Oh. <clears throat> a vagabond, curse him! Why is it never a damsel? Hey, a daydreamer, uh, come down to Earth. Do you have any documents? Alright, let's see. Looking through the papers. Nice to see you, Baron uh, Rowley. Uh, call me uh, Mushroom. <coughs> Just kidding. Uh, Mushroom. I I'm the commander here. And you, oh my, a healer. The Baron in one. Uh, and the scribe too. But bring your grace to far away Albius. I think until you add me into the city. I'm no Baron either. Call me Hopper. You talk like a Geranon, Commander. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are the Geranon guards doing in an Odalan town? That, that's a good question. <laughs> Guarding, of course. There's already trouble on the western borders. Is that where you came from? I came down from the mountains. I've been to the Valley of Mercy, but took a mountain passes to make it here just before the snow melted. I didn't even have time to visit Opakum. I believe that. There's a Berkana garrison in Opakum. Count Victi is in command. He would not have uh, let a healer leave his side. As for local news, the reaping has begun. Well, almost. <clears throat> that makes no sense. Has the reaping begun or not? Can you tell me what's going on? Why do I smell human flesh burning? That's always a really good question. Does it stink really? I, I don't smell a thing. I'm getting used to it, I suppose. I'm getting used to it? What the getting used to? Should I turn away and run? Is there anywhere to hide? Anyhow, a monster appeared. It sealed the gate and did this. What you call it? Spelling? Or sourcing? The folks in town started beating each other. Good. They wore off. Like the drink does. This is when we came to the rescue. <laughs> the nobles feared the plague. So we are... Burning corpses. Almost everyone in town has ulcers on their necks, but the temple servants are putting some kind of ointment on them to relieve the pain. So it seems that the reaping has begun, but stumbled? Stumbled, you say? Making its very first step? I've examined various manuscripts, but none of them mention anything like this. Do you replace the bell ringer often? That's a great question. C copper, keep it coming. You don't like uh, the tune? Uh, that doesn't bother me. I've gotten used to it. Or are you off to the job? I could consider it if the pay was decent, but I don't like the noise. Hasn't the bell ringer gone deaf yet? Ah, the locals say that if not for the bell ringing, there would have been many more corpses now. Looks, looks like the ringing helped the crazies uh, to come to their senses. Not instantly, but it got through the stuff that was clouding their minds. As for the bell ringer, not my responsibility. Is it ringing by itself then? Well, never mind. No use trying to fit in another's shoes. So, is this the reaping or is it not? 
That's the big question. What else can it be? I cannot be sure, but I trust my gut. The Reaper, the Plague, the Sands, it all matches. Oh my. You spotted Reaper. Every ancient manuscript that I've seen states that in the presence of a Reaper, everybody falls to the ground. Manuscripts? What do I care about your manuscripts? When the Reaper came, the townsfolk did fall to the ground. A massive bottoms up, I say. And that's a bad pun. Some passed out, but this one merchant was sharper than the others. He saw something. Do you think our detachment just happened to stroll by? I admire, I admire your effort, mush, Mushroom. I'm not mushroom. I'm, I'm bad. So, so bad about it. <clears throat> you, you pretend to be saying too much, yet you have said little in excess. You have been listening carefully this whole time, but I have nothing to hide. I am what I am. A scribe. A book lover. A healer. I do odd jobs on the side. How odd? That's enough chit chat for now. I don't have all day, buddy. You're not a beautiful lass, so we're done chit chatting. Welcome to Obvious. Why summon the guards? Did I offend you? Huh. Nah, I'm too good at defending. Thing is, I have orders. If I see a scribe at the gate, I send him to Cardinal Coranzan. Why is that? That's none of my business. Did you say Coranzan? I used to know a man named Coranzan. Since you're the Cardinal's good friend, you'll get along. Like him and our prince, my man will escort you. Goodbye for now. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, look at this. Obvious. Town looks glum in the aftermath of the tragic events. The reaping has indeed begun. You barely have enough time to look around as the guards briskly lead you to the town square. You arrive at the town hall with an escort of guards. One of them, a tall, hawking man, stays behind with when the others leave. He sizes you up, then points uh, to the entrance of a nearby shop. He obviously wants you to go there. The ear-splitting peals of the bell make you wonder how the cardinal stands it. Yeah. As you take in the town hall, the guards take stock of your horse. My name is Ake. He says, If Mushroom got it right, you're Hopper Rowley, a peculiar man, a book lover, a healer, and a baron. Um, uh, hey, Ake. You face the gigantic warrior, smiling your friendliest smile. Wait a second. Um, <laughs> what does your horse wait for you by the tent? Uh, why does your horse wait for you by the tent like a dog? Is it trained or something? Does it bark on command too? <clears throat> no bark, all bites. Uh, keep that in mind. Be careful with this beast. Are you considering getting one like it? Uh, no thanks. I prefer my horses to have some stamina. Still, yours is a funny one. How do you have even manage to train it? You must not be short on patience. Look after it, Ake, and you shall see that I pay my debts. I haven't lent you a thing, and I'm not going to. Your horse isn't going anywhere, and neither are you. You're not leaving this town until you've spoken to the Cardinal. He and the Prince argued about that, actually. Uh, Drake's uh, dispirited because the Temple seized the right to inspect all scribes and mages coming to town. Alright, let's see. Harperuli. What can he do? Let's check out the tent. Prince tent stands in town square. You could pay homage to his highness. Speaking to himself, Trek, the Prince of Jarana, you didn't look so worn out last time I saw you. What aggravates you so, your highness? The beginning of the reaping or the incessant ringing? Hmm. Who are you? I've been told that uh, <clears throat> a certain scribe has arrived in town. Is that you? A healer and a wandering sorcerer with a license? Harper Ruli, your face looks familiar. Might we have met? Uh, we have met in your palace, uh, Highness, about three years ago. I just got my scribe's license. I spent a whole year going through your archives. Hmm, hmm I can remember uh, every single palace scribe. Now, if you were a good swordsman, we could talk. I see that you do have a sword. 
And a staff. Isn't that overkill? And what brings you to Albius? The staff is for walking, the sword for defending. Such are the times you live in. You either carry a sword or someone carries your head. As to why, I got word that the reaping has almost conquered Abius. Uh, that's why I'm here, your highness. What do you mean, that's why you're here? You're starting to piss me off. Make yourself clear. Why in Terminum have you come to Abius? That's hardly a secret, your highness. I'm just watching the events unfold in the blessed land of Berkana and uh, writing it all down. I'm not so sure about Birkan and Blessings. Look, looks more like a curse to me, but why Albius specifically? Asiris told me that the reaping will begin right here, on the day of the Vernal Equinox. I was curious, you see, but almost didn't make it. I had to travel a long way. Uh, Asiris? Was she, by chance, an attractive young lady or a crone with looks that freeze your soul? Uh, I find her beautiful, past her prime perhaps, but hardly old, stumbled upon her in the Veil of Mercy. I didn't really believe her. It's better to see uh, for oneself, so I just dropped by. Yeah. You you have loose lips, Hopperuli. The Cirrus was right. It's disappointing that she's so far away. I'd love to meet her. The reaping excites your curiosity, you say. You must be an expert on the subject. If you are as clever as the scribe pretend to be, uh, tell me, what the bell ringing during the was the bell ringing during the last reaping? And if if it was, how did they stop it? Is there a clue in your scrolls about how to silence the bell? It did ring, but <clears throat> differently. En enough days, at least. I mean, how do you even keep this up? Anyway, stopping the bell is child's play. Just get the bell ringer of the damn thing. Uh, do you have any idea how many men I lost in the town hall? I don't need a scribbler. I need soldiers. So much for your usefulness. Go visit your the cardinal and see if he can find the job for you. Damn. Small shop. You can't avoid meeting the cardinal. You just hope it doesn't turn nasty. Speaking to himself. The Cardinal. Well, you say speaking to himself, but you actually start speaking to other people, so... While you're speaking to yourself, the Cardinal. It appears usurped uh, Chirland's shop, or Rask's shop, to use his most recent name, though his this Cardinal takes anything he desires, and that bell is really ear-splitting. So here you are, Blance. And here I was, thinking not a single fly would come to this pile of dunk. We have two flies now, including you. And once again, you are the Cardinal, Karanzen. So you are a vagabond again. They told me you call yourself Hopper. I like Blance better. I've always been amazed by your passion for changing names. Only Ama has always stayed Ama. Your coming here is no coincidence, is it? What else did she predict? Well, this guy definitely knows stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, let's just... I just say we don't know. Nothing really, only the onset of the reaping. Does that mean she hasn't lost her clairvoyance? <clears throat> That's not how it pans out. The reaping has also started in Frisia, not just here. That's not your doing, is it, Karanzen? Of course not. You don't think that we sided with the Umbra, do you? We are Umbra. We are all Umbra. Ama is, and so is Rask. He got away, and from what I've heard, who came to Obvious? Are you saying you don't know, Blance? I'm surprised. You should have seen the one responsible for all of this. Something hides these events from my sight, but I caught a glimpse. There are two mortals, it seems. One here, one in the north. They resisted the reapers. An unprecedented feat. The one in the north, if I'm not mistaken, even managed to... excarnate him. That can be true. Are you sure? Absolutely sure? Surely it was... only... this embodiment. You couldn't have killed him. You'd also feel it if 
if an Umbra were killed, disembodiment only. Reapers already attacked him twice, but not in full force. For some reason, I couldn't tell exactly, but he lost his body again. Damn it. This is a grave danger for all of us. Surprisingly, you arrived just in time, Blance. Can I count on you? Is there anything you can to do without my help? Answer my questions. There is something strange about the reaping. It's it's waning. You think I'm hanging around here for fun? It's because... F Wait a second. It's because of all this ringing, like it's suppressing the reaping for some reason. I don't think it's anything to cheer about. If it can hinder the reaping, it could mean trouble for us too. So that's what's been bothering you. Truly, there's some magic to all of this. And we need to get uh, to the bottom of it. Maybe I'm not no match for you or Anano, but I don't believe for a second that you're surprised. The first legions of Frisia are closing in on Burkana. Gebonans wreak havoc near the Ashen Wasteland. Gyals have been sighted in the Vandal Forest. The moment we show any weakness, the Pallians are going to be at our throats. We were ready for war and the reaping, but not for this sorcery. Uh, will you offer help in return? <laughs> Saving someone again, huh? I'd rather you ask me to kill someone for a change. That's much easier. There's enough murderers at large as is, although you're one of them. Still, doesn't the thought of uh, saving someone please you even a little? <laughs> All right, I hear you. I'm afraid I don't share your idea of fun. I hope you allow me to make a decision about any request that we make. If so, then we have a deal. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't we be helping each other? <laughs> Spare me your chuckling. If we only turned Frisia into a graveyard when we had the chance, we could have avoided all of this. Naturally, once we are standing in the middle of the graveyard called Burkana. Those people are like cockroaches. Leave them alive, soon there will be thousands of them. At least they are much more efficient at getting rid of themselves than the reaping ever could be. All right, stop doling about. Tell me what you need. Hmm. It's not that simple. A merchant named Padagang supposedly saw a woman of profound beauty before the reaping, but no one else did. Then he saw the retired captain of uh, the Adalan Guard, Torm Bran, with his daughter. They were talking to a reaper. Why should I care about the merchant's visions? And although Captain Torn did pique my curiosity, looks like he's the man I need. Why would a reaper converse with mortals, I wonder? I don't know, Torn's wife died first! He took his daughter and a couple of soldiers and scurried away. Whoever, however, one of the soldiers turned uh, out to be Prince uh, Trick's son. And that numbskull of a prince convinced himself that his son could only be saved by the scribe who stops the ringing of the town hall bell. Does the young prince need saving? Tony's already a goner. The reaper left his mark on the bottom gate. On, on, the, on the town gate. And our dear Chirlin broke it down when he escaped. The obvious guards were clearly a bit traumatized. Then Torn goes and hacks them all up. Trigg's uh, worried about his kid and wants blood. I don't care for the prince, but I'd like to find Torn and have to talk with him. Although, I don't care for his possible execution either. And Prince Trig is not going to make me seriously... Take, gonna take me seriously as a scribe anymore. So I can't promise I'll be any help. Does Torn know where the prince is in his squad? Um, I can confirm that he doesn't. Should I care? I don't give a damn about the prince. One of Torn's companions is the prince's bodyguard, some guy called Sop. His head will be removed from his shoulders the moment any harm comes to the prince, and he knows it. He's going to bust his ass to prevent that. Torn is much more inquisitive. <clears throat> so this stubborn captain piqued my your interest too. You think that he'll fall at your feet if you appear before him as a reaper? 
Well, who knows? Where could Torn be headed? <sighs> Torn will go from Meneer to Meneer until he realizes the reaping has con corrupted them all. He's already visited the first one nearby, even fought some answers there. I doubt. I, I don't know where he's headed next. The next Meneer can be found on the outskirts of Ursus. Ansys are dangerous foes. Thorn's able to go toe to toe with them. He didn't earn a captain's rank for nothing. There's hopes. There's hopes. There's hope he's still alive. Being accompanied by such commander will keep the prince much safer too. You still haven't explained to me what you need. I want you to stop the ringing. It's not just Albius that been affected by this magic. The bells ringing all throughout Burkana now. All by themselves, not a bell ringer in sight, all because of this one here. The Reaper didn't appear anywhere else but here. Why should I care, Karanzen? I'm I'm not unre unrevealing someone else's enhancements. I need this body, and I've got enough problems as it is. I'll I'll do without your help. Maybe you should get to the top of the town hall tower by yourself. I couldn't unweave this mysterious spell. Among the Umbra, you have the best affinity for magic. Give me some advice at least. Several people already perished in that cursed town hall. The bell's magic saps the mortal's will and forces them to climb upwards. But we are different. Oh. Alright, Karanzen. But I'll only take a look. The moment I sense any danger, I'm turning around and getting the fuck out. There's a faint trace of battle magic in the back alleyways. Who could have left it? Let's check it out. Wondering what sorcerer might be what a sorcerer might be doing in Albius, you enter its maze of streets. You follow this fleeting trace of magic, which leads to a side alley where someone cast a spell several days ago. It's clear that it was no sorcerer. Someone used one of the magical plagues. It makes sense, they would be imbued with power during the reaping. The pavement is smeared with blood. It looks like some hand-to-hand -hand combat took place too. A uh, squeaking door makes you turn around. Several gloomy-looking, hulking figures exiting one of the houses stop uh, when, you s when they see you. Large sacks on their backs tell you that either one of them is moving out or they are common marauders. It seems like it's the latter. The thugs throw the sacks to the ground and draw their weapons. Oh, here we go. Hop Ruli! Taking out the the competition, I guess. I was just about to loot a little bit. <clears throat> then we gotta check out the the temple. Come on, Hopperuli. Get ready for the fight. What the hell, Hopperuli? Oh yeah. This is ballsy as hell. We're just gonna go in. Deal 16 damage. Can we take take out anyone with that? All surrounding units. 32 damage. Hopperuli, how do you feel about doing that? They're all dead. Oh my god, Hopperuli. Wait a second. I can't kill any of them. What if I do... Oh. Oh, that does limit his options. I just quick strike. You look at the corpses and frustration washes over you. So many soldiers were dispatched to the city, but they only protect the princes and cardinals. Mere blocks uh, from the town hall. A daylight robbery took place. The robbers won't harp anyone anymore, though. Hopperuli, you get anything for this? Or just... You just won. That's it. Alright. <clears throat> On your way to the town hall, you're joined by Karanzen. You examine the staircase and can see that it's enhanced, enchanted. Uh, luckily, the spell doesn't affect Umbra. As you try to make sense of the intricate spellcraft, Karanzen creeps up from behind and pushes you forward. Karanzo! You jerk! You rush up the stairs against your will. Wait a second, really? 
How does that work? If you push someone on the stairs, they're just gonna fall, right? You don't don't run up the stairs. How does it work? Hop Ruli, you idiot! This sorcerer is affecting you, too, even though it shouldn't. You must turn back, but you can't. Your feet are not your own. Karanza, we're not friends anymore. And we weren't even before friends. Damn. Alright. On the upper platform of the bell tower, you find the soldiers who got too close to the enhanced enchanted stairs. Their eyes are vacant. You draw your sword, the guards might not attack you of their own free will, but that's no reason to get yourself killed. Wait a second. That's fine. Which of them deal most damage? The ones who have shields probably deal less damage. This guy deals the least amount of damage. Everyone else deals like... The archer is bad. Well, archer actually could be strong. Alright, Hopper Ruli. Oh, they got one attack. Can I even... Can they even move to me? They can't reach me. This guy can. Oh, he has counter-attack. Now we gotta use our special skill. Is he gonna die as well? Oh yeah. It's, it's a circle. Proper circle. Getting more the buffs. Yeah, I don't think he can reach me though. Maybe we should run away. I surprise him with our special skill. Oh, look at that! The kill everybody special. That skill is just crazy. <clears throat> The bell keeps ringing, the rope swings on its own, under the spell's effect, simply grabbing it should break the spell, and you'll be free to leave. But it's a trick, touching the rope triggers a curse, trusting Karanzum was a mistake and you're about to suffer the consequences. You gather your courage and grab the rope, losing your footing and as the bell tower crumbles, everything goes black, all but the message burned into your mind. Follow the guiding one, collect the seven parts of wisdom. Read and be saved. Pretty damn big! Okay, Hopper really taking out everybody. You wake up to somebody slapping your face, then hauling you upright. You fight to open your eyes, then the first thing you see is your blackened and frozen hand, which has absorbed the full power of the curse. Well, Look back is enough to confirm your suspicions. The town's hall bell has been indeed destroyed. We got a skill point. Having caught your breath. Damn you, Karanzen. <clears throat> you scoundrel. I get you out of tr out of the rubble and what do I get in return? Have you gone mute or something? The town hall tower is no more. You've brought it all down somehow. The store's still in one piece, though, and the ringing has stopped. 
That kind of magic is out of my league, Ronson. I can only... Oh, we don't see uh, the blackened hand uh, Hop Ruli has. I can only tell that it, it definitely kept something horrifying at bay. It still does, but now with my help. See my hand? This unknown sorcerer must have had both hands blackened. Or could it be a sorceress? No matter, being capable of such spell work can assume any form. The spell hasn't broken, and that's no ordinary curse in your hand. The bell must have been a decoy then, but I don't understand the enhancement's purpose. How should I know? If not for the bells ringing, the people of Abias might, might have slaughtered each other. Damnation. It's your fault that I got caught in this enhancement, along with gods who know else. What if the this blackness reaches my heart? It hasn't happened yet. Enough with the, the crocodile tears. A pompous nobleman is headed your way. You met my request, so I owe you one. However, if you want to ensure my goodwill, I'd suggest you find the Torn and bring him uh, to Opakum. I want to have a look at him. Oh, here comes Prince Drag. <clears throat> the dream has come true, scribe. The hag was right. You stopped the bell ringing. Well, I invite you to serve the Jernan crown from now on. Find my son, Ho. And the captain who led him away. Uh, the name of uh, Torn Brennan? Save the boy and bring the captain to trial. Excuse my insolence, your highness. I just want to get it straight. First, I hear about a girl of profound beauty. Now, there's a talk of some hag. And what's with the dream? Does it have anything to do with your orders? I dreamt of a, a terrifying hag who foretold your arrival. She tried to suit me, said you'd help me, but... Don't, don't grind your teeth, Crownson. Respect the Geronimo crown. Right. You demand respect for the crown, but you show none for the temple. All these dreams and prophecies are pure heresy. And oh, forget about Torn. He's not your subject, so it's not up to you to bring him to justice. It might surprise you, monk, but I'm perfectly capable of making decisions without your uh, pre precious guidance. Is it too much to say that annoying temple advisors belong on the tra on the rack? The temple serves Burkana. Oh, that's what, uh, what Hopperuli is gonna say. Yeah, after Kuranza threw me to the wolves. That's right. I like to believe that, especially with war approaching the southern kingdoms. I'd say it once more, Kronzon. If anything happens to Ho, Torn loses his head. I'll pray that your son gets out of this unscathed. Yet I don't think it's wise to exact vengeance on the person trying to rescue him. The gods aren't that reliable. I'd be happy to do your bidding, your highness. You showed kindness to me once, and it's time I return the favor. Finally, a voice of reason. I don't care if it comes from a bookworm. Thank you, Karanzan, for your prayers. A and you, scribe. We'll have others to assist you. Time to leave, I guess. Day zero. Cursed powers. Oh. He has a... He has a oh. He's cursed. Hop really is cursed. Anyway, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.